Welcome to the highlights of this Benson Hedges World Series Cup match. It's the second of the double header games at uh, the Gabba this weekend. Australia play India. Magnificent day. Temperature forecast of around about 31 degrees. Hardly a cloud in the sky, similar to yesterday when India played New Zealand. The Benson Hedges World Series Cup table. India on top with two points. Australia and New Zealand each have one from that rain mired match down in Melbourne on Thursday night. The two teams, India, they've gone in with the same side as played yesterday. Shiva Ramakrishnan is 12th man. And Australia are playing the same team that took the field against New Zealand last Thursday, which means that Jeff Marsh will be carrying the drinks for them. Well, it is a magnificent sight here at the Gabbo. Capacity crowd, all ticket affair today. The gates have been shut. Bill Laurie and Keith Stackpole are in the commentary box on this magnificent Brisbane Sunday morning. We pick up play in the very first over of the match. No runs on the board, no wickets down. McDermott is bowling to Gavaskar. Beautifully played, great start by Sunil Gavaskar. Slow outfield, they're not running. Just gets into the gutter. No signal yet from the umpire. Ask the fieldsman the question. Just two runs. Hi there, Steve Randall. Just having a chat across to Dick French there, just confirming whether it was two or four. Dave Gilbert was the fieldsman, so if that's uh, any reflection of the type of cricket that we're going to see, that was certainly desperation personified then. This time he hits straight down the ground, doesn't quite get it in the middle. Well, yesterday it was uh, 27 runs from only 17 balls. The son of Gavaskar, and he certainly is not wasting any time today. Simon Davis is the bowler, and Gavaskar is taking strike. Got him! Going for the big hit down the ground. That's the breakthrough that they needed. Simon Davis once again striking. Gavaskar out bold for five. And a battle of strategies out there already. Gavaskar trying to hit Simon Davis down the ground through that mid-wicket area, got a bottom edge and dragged it back onto the stumps. And out goes that leg stump and a good start once again by Simon Davis, playing only his second representative match, bowling Gavaskar for five and India one for five. Dermot to Shrikanth. Beautifully played over the infield, very intelligent batting. Brings up four runs. What a wonderful batsman this man is. Tremendous eye, beautiful timing, and the courage to go over the top. There he goes again. There's a man out there. He's under the third man. He's getting under it. He's caught it. Matthews, the fieldsman. So Kenneth getting a top edge. A very well judged catch. Had to pick up whether it was going to carry or not. And that's a vital wicket for Australians. Fine catch, good piece of bowling. That was a pressure catch then for Greg Matthews. Trikanth looking to hit it down the ground again. Just moved away on him, just a fraction. Got a top edge and it floated down to Matthews, who found it probably pretty difficult to pick up at first. They're not easy, those ones that fly off the edge. But what a great start by Australia. India 2 for 13 in this, just the fifth over. Greg McDermott bowling now to Armanath. Shot beautifully played off the back foot. Well, he's hit the fence with the ball in his hand. We'll watch the umpire. No, just the three runs. And India just a little slack with their running between the wickets. Looked as though that was going to be a four-runner. Dave Gilbert once again just picking it up just inside then and just reaching there for a little bit of support with the other hand. But I'm now thinking that that was going to reach the boundary quite easily. It's pretty lush the outfield here at the Gabba, so they're going to have to run a little bit quicker. Good delivery from Craig McDermott. That was through Vensaka. Looking for that gap down to third man. Gilbert to Armanath. Once again into that gap at mid-wicket. Maybe if he's going to bowl straight. And uh, he's going to attempt to keep it right up there. Um, 
he'll have to bring one of his three fieldsmen on the offside across. Notice that uh, three fieldsmen in position at mid-off, extra cover and point. Might have to bring one of them across and put him in that area there. It's in the air and just wide. Border diving away to his left to try and cut that one off. He didn't get a hand to it in the end. Went a little bit too fine for him. It certainly was in the end. It's gone down to third man for four. Yes, well, that's the, the frustration, the heartache of bowling in one-day cricket. There's no slips. Well, not a lot. There's just a gully. It would have been a magnificent catch. In fact, he did pull one off during the test series uh, like that, Alan Border. Right, it was on his left hand, but came a long way across. And uh, a boundary results. He's got him. He's out, caught behind. Well bowled. That one moving away just a little bit in the air. Armanath chasing it. A thick edge and nicely taken by Phillips. Yes, Armanath making 13. Chases this one. The outswing it closer to the stumps. Still a long way from the body. Good catch by Phillips. Comfortably. So now what a breakthrough. The Australians have got three Indian wickets down now for 29 runs. Attempted Yorker and a beautiful ball to well, Mohammed Azraddin is having a terrible time out there. That one's gone for four, but this is not very good luck for Dave Gilbert. That was a magnificent delivery. He managed to squeeze it through somehow down to fine leg. Very hard to place a field to shots like this. There's no justice in the game. Almost takes the leg stump. Ooh, so uh, ever so lucky. Not very quick, Van Sarka. 21 balls for just three. Indians trying to consolidate here a little. A shot. Snap up here. Well, it's going to be interesting to have another look at that one. A direct hit there. Good fielding. Stephen Waugh coming in like a flash. There's a little hesitation there. Vinsaka. Steve Waugh picks up, has a shy. My goodness. Mohamed Azradin in the green protective helmet faces Gilbert. Well, that's a full toss. Oh, and uh, the ball bouncing away. It seemed to me to the left there. And uh, that was the reason why Boone wasn't able to stop that one. Fielders are on their toes. David Boone gets a chase. Charge, he beats the... Mid-wicket fieldsman, looks like the charge is about to begin. And uh, I agree with you, Bill. I think they will be looking to start lobbing it over the infield a bit. Oh, well, that was... <laughs> out, yes, off the hands. Fensaka, good decision. Went like a bullet, deflection up the bar, into the stumps. Fensaka, run out for 19. Good decision, but not very lucky. That one hits straight back at the stumps. Have a look how it happens. War sticks his hand out, deflects off his hand, try to stop it, he did, onto the stumps, and the batsman there just out of his crease, and uh, the umpire down that end, it's umpire French, has his eye on the bat. So an unlucky dismissal that for Dilip Fensaka, on his way back for 19, India, 4 for 69. The batsman is uh, Kapil Dev, the Indian captain. He scores at more than one a ball. So he's a real danger man. Close, very close. He was back and across. The end of a very good over. That must have been very close indeed. The ball cutting back. Big shout, maybe an inside edge. Well, let's have a look at it. Lips back a little bit. On the back pad. Well, if he didn't hit that, in my book, he was out. Fielding has been excellent. Bowling spot on. Indian struggling the umpire for runs. down that end by French. Oh, the old French cut. The best shot in the book. Well, that one a little lucky too to slip through uh, the clutches of the Australians there. Phillips went diving away to his left. Didn't get a glove on it. See if he went uh, quickly. Saw it go. It went like uh, he went as far as he could with his left hand there, but uh, that one was just a little bit too well nicked, if you like, to allow Phillips to get a hand on it.
Big hit, over she goes, six of the best. What a beautiful shot. Well, you can't stray down leg side too much. He played a similar shot to this yesterday. Anything that's going down the leg side at all, or pitched on leg stump, is going to be helped away. And this certainly was helped away. Helped away straight over the top of that square leg boundary for six. Well, it's uh, Kepel Deb out there who's uh, going to take up the challenge out of the Australians. He's a magnificent striker of the ball. Border in quickly. That's very close. He's got him. What a brilliant piece of work on his left hand. Ian Chappell had pointed out earlier the left hand at square leg or mid wicket's always got that opportunity. That was a brilliant piece of work on the run. The underarm hit the stumps and Keppel Dev run out. A magnificent piece of fielding. Yes, this is a vital bit of fielding for the Australians. Dev's looking dangerous. Border comes in from mid wicket actually and underarms that at the stumps with his left hand. Makes no mistake. And I think he's probably a foot and a half short there and uh, up goes the appeal and Border knows exactly how important that run out was. Dev out for 16. Number 5 for 100, change the commentary team, that's Max Walker and Ian Chappell. Thanks Bill. Ravi Shastri is the man who comes to the crease. And he's got uh, Azaruddin. So two wickets and two balls and the Australians really having a great morning. Well, what a great morning. The Australians started off well with the ball. Just had a run out the last delivery, and this one dragged onto the pads, then onto the stumps, and two in two balls. Alan Border must be ecstatic. Azaruddin out for 35, and it's six for 100. He's not leg stump out of the ground. Shastri going across too far. And Reed has bowled him behind his pads. So three wickets falling in the space of two overs. Well, come on, Ozzy, come on. The chance here, the crowd roar. And what a better sight. The seventh Indian wicket goes down. Behind the back of the pads, Ravi Shastri loses the leg stump. And he's on his way. So a tremendous breakthrough. Seven for 102. Shastri on his way. Thirty-two overs bowled, and it's been a good performance from all Australian bowlers and the fieldsmen. And a good in-swinger there from Bruce Reed, swinging quite late. Well, it's all happening down at the keeper's end. Phillips knocks the bat out of Cheetan Sharma's hand. He's going without a bat now, and he's made a butte tumble turn, and he's back again down with Wayne Phillips to pick up his bat. Well, a little bit of humour there, but it was pretty serious stuff for the men involved. The throw back, hit the stumps. And uh, comes in, Phillips has uh, already knocked the bat down. Ball hits the stumps, and then a shy back to the bowler's end. Whoops, a big, that's about a 30 metre run. There's a long way. <laughs> in fact, they may have even got another one. That's fairly close. Yes, Empire French has a long look and decides that uh, War has got his second wicket in this innings. Here's Roger Benny he departs at last. War gets the decision of the umpire. He's asked the question on many occasions today. There's no doubt about this one. The front pad only just in front of the line would have taken middle right out of the ground. And Benny turns his back on the umpire but there's no doubt on Dick French's mind he's out Roger Benny departs for eight and India eight for 113. Syed Kimani batting average of 20.35 doesn't get much opportunity coming in at number 10 but he has made two test centuries so they'll be hoping to bat out the 50 and he starts with a boundary Stephen Moore a little annoyed with himself for pitching too short opportunity gone it was beautifully gathered in and thrown but uh, the bounce in the end was awkward for Phillips he was racing up to get to the stumps Steve War picked up and threw brilliantly 
Williams. And Wenthorpe's just not able to gather it on the half volley. Difficult bounce. He was coming up. He had to try and gather it in stride. And that's that ounce of luck that perhaps India have been searching for. Yeah, it's gone to Kimani. There's a good stroke. It's beaten the infield. There's no man straight. Reed is the chaser. And Kimani will pick up three. And suddenly all that sharp work we were talking about is not hanging together. It's been uh, the missed run out. Now there's been the throw and another overthrow. Now they just must concentrate. 37 overs completed. Now 126 Dave runs. Gilbert is the bowler from the Stanley the Street end. Good shot. Almost six, just short of the boundary. Applause from Kumani. And Chetan Sharma has played it beautifully. Picked up the length nicely from David Gilbert. Swung it away out into that open area out there. And immediately that has prompted Alan Border to do away with the mid on. No ball and beautifully struck away. War the fielder. And a great return. Three more to Chet Sharma. Good shot for four. Full toss. And these two players, one experienced, Kimani, and the other relatively inexperienced, Chet Sharma, suddenly have brought uh, a hush around this ground. They're fighting back in the manner of true champions. So they certainly have, Richie, and a few frowns starting to peer on the faces of the Australians up there. But the Australian tactics have changed in the last few overs. Suddenly they're not so conscious of saving runs. They're trying to get wickets. They're trying to wrap up this innings. Good shot. 150 comes up for India. This is a tremendous fight back by Kimani and Chetan Sharma. And that's out. Well, that'll be a welcome sight for the Australians, I can tell you. Kimani has played very well indeed for his 27. And that partnership has got India back in with a chance. They're over the 150 mark now. Matthews was the catcher. Big Matthews taking the catch. Pretty tough to keep him out of the game these days. The end of a very good partnership. 47 run partnership there. India 9 for 160. The pad there through for the leg by. That may come back into second. Yes, no. There's a chance for a run out the stage. Good, he's gone. Yes, he's out. Hesitation once again, an argument between the two batsmen, it's 2-8 now, 9 for 160, all out for 160, good piece of work. They're certainly happy, one of the best performances we have seen for a long, long time from the Australian team in the field this morning and this afternoon. Some purpose, some dedication, a delighted Alan Border must be thrilled with the team's performance today. India battle their way back into this game with that partnership between Kiyomani and Chetan Sharma and they have the runs on the board. 161, the top score Azruddin 35, but that partnership between those two players down the order added 47 in just nine overs and gave the innings uh, a little touch of respectability. 161 from 43 overs. The Australian bowling figures make impressive reading. Dermot bowled very well, 2 for 32. Davis 1 for 11, Gilbert 1 for 42, War 2 for 46 and Reed won for 24. Australia 162 to win in 50 overs at 3.24 per over. But they are playing against the world champions, great fighters, and those runs are on the board. Thank you, Richie. Well, the Australian innings off to a great start. First ball, dispatched behind square leg for four runs.
A little bit of movement there for Capital Dev, but it was right on the legs of Wayne Phillips. He's very strong off his pads, and that was certainly a very confident shot by the Australian opener. Just straightened just a little bit, whipped off middle and off, and gave the man down in five length no chance. David Boone decides that he's going to get in on this aggression and a good start for him. Both batsmen getting off the mark with a boundary. And that's the way to go, I think, in these 15 overs, first 15 overs. Saw the West Indies do it last year, the Indians in the final of the World Championship of Cricket. Anything that's short and on leg stump, it's just a matter of getting in behind it, scooping it over the infield, and with only the two men allowed to be out of that area, more often than not, it goes straight to the boundary. So an aggressive start by the Australians. Good shot from Wayne Phillips. Just one bounce and it crashes into the fence. Two boundaries from that over and Australia making a very good start. And a good shot from David Boone. So we've now got four boundaries in just 2.1 overs. A magnificent start. To mid-off and out. Mahinda Armanath is the man at mid-off who's taken quite a straightforward catch. That was hit particularly well too by Wayne Phillips, but just not clearing the man at mid-off. Roger Binney got the breakthrough for India yesterday and does it again today. A good catch by Armanath down at mid-off. They had a bit on it. So a good breakthrough by India. They needed to put the brakes on this innings and they've done that by getting rid of Wayne Phillips for eight. Australia one for 20 and this is the fourth over. Incredible number of matches played by Wayne Boyd, 118. Pickle Dev just trying to put a little bit more pressure on him now. Two slips in there for him. Boyd off the mark with a boundary, as the previous two batsmen have done. Successful over there for Roger Binney, picking up the first wicket. Oh, and a good sharp in-swinger there from Keppel Dev. David Boone has to rush to get back into his uh, crease. I think he was taking a bit of interest in the LBW decision and not where he was standing. But also, what was interesting, the, the throw of Sonal Gavaskar. If he had have hit the stumps with Border right out of his crease, he would have been run out. In fact, it was nearly a double play there. Alan Border just a little loose on... And it's taken by Gavaskar at first slip. So he's hit five in the middle, the one that catches the edge gets Roger Binney a wicket and so often that happens he hit five good shots and get the one streaky one but that was a good ball from Roger Binney looked as though it just went away fractionally off the wicket and that flew quite quickly to Gavaskar who made no mistake got right behind it straight into the hands and this game it's alive Australia two for 27 in the sixth over shot. Border really latching onto that one, driving it through extra cover down to the boundary. It was lovely timing and uh, also hit it straight into the gap. Safely away over the top, speeding away into the fence. Well, that'll give uh, Binney something to think about. He's picked up the two wickets. Might just have to change his angle a little now. That's well, Border certain not going to allow his side to get bogged down. He's clearly decided that if it's up there, it's going to go, and uh, that's the way to play. It was a lovely shot, once again off the meat of the bat. Going to work to his... Just wide of the man at deep fine leg. Four runs to David Hooks, and he's off the mark. Yes, he's had uh, a traumatic time out there up to this point and uh, wasn't about to let that one uh, go through to the keeper. Had latched onto it, high into the air it went, but quite square. He did just well enough to get it uh, wider the fieldsman down there. So a little sigh of release, relief for David Hooks. He's got four, Border has 16. Oh, what a good catch. What a beautiful catch, Mohamed Ashuddin just behind square leg, or perhaps square on the onside. He picked that up magnificently. The third wicket is down, Hooks is out, and Binney has three. 
Yes, it certainly was a good catch, uh, whipping it away to leg, off the meat of the bat, uh, straight to him, but it was going like a rocket at him. Made no mistake, picked it up, threw it in the air, and uh, that's another very important wicket to the Indians. Hooks out for five, and it's three for 45. Here's Chetan Sharma. That's a great catch. If it's... Yes, it's a great catch. Kimani, diving away to his right-hand side, has taken border. And that is real trouble for Australia. It's brought the Indians out of their seats, that's for sure. Big edge there, no doubt about the catch. I think it bobbled in his gloves there for a second, but it was cleanly taken way above the surface. Umpire French had a little glance over towards umpire Randall. He confirmed that it had carried, and uh, the Indians know that wicket was vital to them. Border out for 16, and now Australia, 4 for 45. Got him! What a catch! What a catch! A classic, a magnificent reflex catch. Richie hitting off the back foot. Chet and Sharma threw out the hand and it stuck and the crowd's going wild at the Gabba. Australia collapsing to five for 48. Well, Greg Richie's got every right to be disappointed on that. He has middled this off the back foot. Power in that shot. Chet and Sharma following through, going the wrong way. Body weight towards the left. He grabs it in the right hand, throws it high in the air. And Australia in real trouble now. Five down for 48. Richie making one. Greg Matthews, eh? Tell you what, he's got some incredible qualities, this young fellow out in the middle. And he'll need to uh, have every little bit of his game together out there if he's to get Australia out of this one. It's well placed. But they're on their toes in this field. Two runs. This Kapil Dev will find his, uh, his problem. Well, not a problem, but he'll have to bring uh, Amanath into the attack. And maybe the conditions here will suit him as a fourth medium pacer. He's also got the two spinners, Yadav and Ravi Shastri, the left arm orthodox spinner. But at the moment, the pressure right up to the Australians. Could be Chris Matthews quick. Not picked up. He picked his mark. Jimmy Amanath, a little bit slow at cover. This is Alan Border pull off a run out earlier today yeah. well struck which has within a cover point a very important partnership this one Steve War didn't quite middle that cover point dives very important this partnership because and look at this, we've uh, just got McDermott, but Reed and Davis still to come. Oh, bottom edge, full value for that. Races away for a badly needed four runs. Well, left them on the deck everywhere, spread eagled. What can you do? Pick the gap, eyeball to eyeball, straight between the pair. Pick up the boundary, long way from the body. Bounces well in front. Sonny Gavaska just a little late getting across there. But there they are. The eyes have it. Shout of weight from Steve War. Oh, Matthews off, back. And he just gets back in time. That was almost a disaster. Ravi Shastri administers a bit of... Uh, Resuscitation. And Matthews back up on his feet. And what a great piece of cricket then by Kapil Dev. Putting out the foot, came back quickly, saw Matthews out of his crease, but desperation by Matthews diving for the line. Look at Steve Randall, the position he was in. And that's what the two batsmen have got to do, just work the ball around. That's good running from Matthews. It certainly was aggressive running. And Greg Matthews he really did scamper through for that first run. He knew that the throw was going to come into his end for the second. And he made it fairly easily. Turned nicely, kept his eye right on it. Accelerated.
That's a good shot. That beats Ravi Shastri. He's got a bit of a hand on it. And Hall quickly through for three. That'll do a lot of good for the young man from New South Wales. It really is amazing how these boundaries are eluding the Australians. That looked off the bat as though that was going to be the first one for some time. With Ravi Shastri at mid-off. Going to his left hand, which is his natural hand. Attempting to make a very good save. He certainly cut off the boundary, saved a run. Yadav being brought into the attack. Bowls off spinners. Oh, what a good shot off the back foot. Forced away down to the boundary square. Well, when he latches on to those... They certainly fly off the bat. That's the second boundary in 17 overs. Have a look at this though. Onto the back foot and beautifully played away. So they've uh, fallen just behind what was... No, they haven't. They're still just in front. And a big appeal there for court behind. Well, uh, no reaction from umpire Randall. There was certainly a noise. It seemed to me that the keeper took the bails off. And then, uh, in fact, made the appeal. See if we can pick up any noise here. As the keeper was interested um, more in the stumping there, but he then followed up uh, the close infielder and the bowler. Once again, he's rolling that one away. It's very well played into the gap. Will this one get there? No, it won't. Sharma this time gets it well inside the boundary. And uh, those three runs bring up the 100 for Australia. Down the line he comes and he's hit that straight down the ground. It's under, he's underneath the charm is going to get there. He's dropped it. Well, he's come all the way from deep long off. Ben Sarko was a deep long on. I would have thought he could have uh, made it a little bit more comfortable. Certainly could have got there more comfortably. Well, it went up miles and uh, eventually got dropped. He's run across and uh, the two converging on each other and eventually didn't quite get there. Certainly just got his fingertips to it, but uh, he didn't judge it very well. Well, that's beautifully played. Well, he got to the pitch of that one, gave himself just a little bit of room and drove it through the gap at extra cover. Lovely timing by Stephen Waugh, that'll take the pressure off him just a little. The score on to 35 now. Matthews also has 35. It's been a lot of confidence for a man so young. It's a thick edge and that's Bayou for his attempt to drive. Steve Swar 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 swinging pretty hard there. The arm ball just getting an outside edge. No one down there through the gully. Two runs. Bowled him. Yes, sir. Got the off stump. That was the break they needed. War trying to hit square of the wicket. The fine innings ends for 40. And the game, once again, wide open. Yes, the game is wide open. And hitting against the spin. War, who played very sensibly up until now. Ostam standing ovation as the young man from New South Wales leaves the ground. Two wickets with the ball, now 40 runs. Australia sticks down, score 127. We're all sitting on the edge of your seat as 21,000 people here at the Gabara. Some standing, frightened to sit down. Deflection, a good one, that's four. It's what the doctor ordered, just straight to leg stump off the thigh, but it doesn't matter. Matthews getting behind that delivery. Desperate bid by Kamani. Kamani caught the Australian captain Alan Border down the leg side on his right. Similar sort of shot, but Matthews doesn't make contact. Kamani a long way across to his right. Not too, too much of a problem of Matthews worrying how they come up. Leg buys are just as good as off the middle of the bat. You can put them up on the scoreboard for Australia. And McDermott thought he bowled very well this morning with the ball. A fair bit of experience, 19 matches. 
that much action here. It's very hard to keep your eye on just exactly what is happening, and there's plenty here. Not just the batsman, but uh, Roger Binney's now in the covers. It's in the air. It's over the long run. It's well struck. For very valuable runs. The pressure eases at the Gabba. It was on about middle and leg. He hit through it. Timed it well. And that's his go. Craig McDermott, very good when he hit straight down the ground. Up and under that one. Picked it up on the half volley. Hit it on the rise. No one down in the long on area. And that seems a little strange, really, at this stage of the game. Full pitch. Ripped away. That'll beat Yardav. It does. Four more. Well, Kapil Dev would be very cross with Chet and Sharma. And you see Kapil Dev walking across my... Goodness. I don't know. It's not a great deal you can say. He knows that he's bowled the wrong thing. A full toss on the leg stump to a batsman. A tail end batsman. In that, the ball of that uh, money for jam, really. Well, it goes again. That'll make a 12 off the over. Craig McDermott bringing the home crowd to their feet. 12 off the over and 12 runs for victory. And nicely clipped away off the toes by McDermott. Showing pretty good form with the bat. And a lot of common sense too. From Craig McDermott, does Craig. it with a boundary and in very convincing fashion. A terrific victory to Australia. That'll give them a lot of confidence. They bowled extremely well this morning and they batted very well in getting the runs. Greg Matthews uh, not too happy about the crowd rushing onto the ground. In fact, one of them's uh, grabbed Craig McDermott's hat and shot through with it. A good victory to Australia. And uh, here with a wrap-up is Richie Benno. Well, that was a very good victory, but final total of 6 for 164 doesn't quite give an indication of how tense the whole match was. The best performance there from Steve Waugh, 40, and Greg Matthews, 46, their partnership, 79, in 24 overs, and Craig McDermott coming in at the end, 24 from just 21 balls. The bowling figures for India, the best of the bowlers was Binney, not just because he took the wickets, but uh, because he bowled good outswingers and kept the pressure on the batsman. Chetan Sharma, 2 for 28. He had the misfortune to miss that lofted drive in the outfield when uh, he was battling away with Vensaka to, to decide which of them would go for the catch. He had 2 for 28. Shastri and Yadav, 17 overs between them and only 47 runs off their bowling. That is a very fine performance. Well, a good win and Tony Gregg now is down the presentation area with the two captains, the man of the match and lots and lots of people. Thank you, Richie. Well, once again, the Australian Cricket Board have allocated $5,000 out of their Benson Hedges kitty for this match. And Alan Border, a very happy Alan Border today, your $3,000. A tremendous performance, especially with the ball. Yeah, the ball was uh, set it up for us. That was a fantastic effort. I thought the fielding was uh, superb. Uh, we let ourselves uh, get in a bit of a uh, pressure with the bat, but, uh, you know, a win's a win, and I was very, very happy with the way we went about today's game. Very well played. Good luck against the New Zealand Thanks very much. Team. Right, well, Capital Deb uh, has taken away the $1,500. Bad luck. You yeah. gave them a bit of a fright at the end. Well, we tried hard enough. Uh, the total wasn't good enough for the match. Anyway, we played well and they played much better than us. They Thanks. won the match. Bad luck. Thanks. And the man of the match, well, uh, this Benson is his gold goblet and the $500, none other than Greg Matthews. Congratulations. Well played. Okay. It's all yours. Thanks for no, They don't give you a bowl. There's no way in the world you're not going to score runs. Yeah, I was very fortunate to, to be able to have such a long innings because we lost a few early wickets. and. Uh, I seem to go okay here, and I was really happy that, you know, we won. Everyone. The bowlers did a fantastic job. The fieldsmen did a fantastic job. Steve Ward did a great job. And then Billy at the end to, to hit those four. So, Craig, to, you know, great team effort. Congratulations. Very Thanks, well right, that's all from the very noisy uh, down here area. Back to you, Rich. <laughs> I think you said uh, back to the commentary box. I'm not quite sure, but uh, certainly okay. there's plenty of noise down there. And Greg Matthews deserved every little bit of it. Points table at the moment shows that Australia have three points, India two and New Zealand one. It's good night.